Welcome to the homework for first grade, module one, this is lesson 22. Get your name in there first. You've got a lot to do on this one. Um, it's going to take a little bit of time, but just make sure you get your name in there first because you won't be thinking of it later. And you see here, we have a little picture of our five group cards. And we're going to solve all the problems without counting all. So that, that means in, without counting all the dots starting at one. So uh, what that means is here, like for this example here, a four with the six dots. If you had to, you would turn over the four. To, you, see a card, you see a card with four dots. You see this card with six dots. And then you just count all the dots to do the addition of the four plus the six. And then, so you count from one. And that's what I mean by counting from one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you get a total of ten. So what we're going to do is we're, we're not going to do that. We're going to try counting on instead of counting all. So we'll just start with the four and think what comes after four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll count on like that. And these are all going to be either plus ones, plus twos, or plus threes. And these are tricks like we just practiced before doubles plus ones. So if you know your doubles, then you can think, well, I can add one to one of the add-ins. And these are, for example, if you know two plus two is four, then you can think, well, then two plus three is five. And doubles plus ones can be really hard in the beginning. They only work if you really know your doubles. So you got to practice those. And this is another trick. Plus ones are pretty easy, right? Because what's one more than five? It's six. It's the next number. It's really easy to remember. So um, you can use that trick to remember your plus ones or one pluses, right? Because it's the same expression, whether the one comes first or second in the expression. Uh, and then we... You see, uh, you can use that and think, well, what's two more? If you can think of one more, uh, you say five plus two, well, five plus one would be six, and so it's two more numbers, and it's seven, right? And then you can also use that for three more. So we're going to figure out these are all going to be plus twos, or two pluses, or one pluses, or three pluses. Here we go. So we're going to solve all of these on the page. And then we're going to color them. And this is going to be a little tiny. Now I'm going to solve them, and then I'm going to color them. So, let me just solve them first. One more than, we'll start with A. One more than seven is eight. And we have eight and nine, so I'm, well, nine is one more. And that's a plus one. Three plus one is that's one more than three, so that's four. 5 plus 3, that's a plus 3, so 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, 5 plus, what is that, plus 1? Plus 1 would be 6, so plus 2 is 7. And here's 4 plus, uh, so that's a, that's a plus 3, right? 6 plus 3. That's six, seven, eight, nine. Right. Nine. That's three more. And eight here. If you know your partners to ten, this one's really easy. But you think it's not nine, so it's not plus one, right? Because that would be the next number. It's, so it's a plus two, because it's two more. And two plus one. One more than two is three. And one plus something. This is a double, actually. One plus one equals two. And then this is one plus, right? Well, it's not two and it's not three, so it has to be a plus three. Six plus two, well, six plus one would be seven. So six plus two is one more than that, it's eight. That's just you know how you think of these. That's how you use the plus ones, the plus twos, and the plus threes. The plus three is a little bit harder because you gotta think a couple of steps away. But here's a double. Here, if you recognize it, you know your doubles at three plus three and six. You've got six and seven here. That's 
you know, that's the next number, so that's a plus 1. Uh, 3 plus 2, that's 4, 5. Right? 5 plus 1, 1 more than 5, that's 6, that's the next number. Here's a double, 4. 4 plus 1 would be 5, and this is 6, so it has to be 4 plus 2. And that's just how you use it. You know, there's other ways to solve these, but that's how you think of your, that's how you use your plus ones and your plus twos. You think of the next number, and it's one more than the next number, so it had to be plus two. Uh, four plus one, one more than four is five. Seven plus two, well, seven plus one would be eight, so seven plus two has to be one more than that, it's nine. Three is one more than two. Nine plus one. Plus 1 is the next number, 10. 7 plus 3, that's 8, 9, 10. That's one of the ways to make 10. God, those are really good to know. And then 1 plus, right, we're looking for, if it was 1 plus 1, it would be 2. But we have 3, so we need 1 more than that, so 1 plus 2 is 3. Right now, we're going to go back and we're going to color them, because that's the second step. So here's the key. To shrink this way down so we're all fit. Okay. The problems with plus one or one plus, I'm going to shade them blue. Now this is best to use with a color pencil or if a crayon, just don't press down super hard because we still want to be able to see the numbers that you wrote for your answers. So anything with a plus one or one plus, I'm just going to do that. Plus one. Uh, no, 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 no. Here's a plus one. There's a one plus and a plus one. Here's a one plus. Now some of these you might be able to shade with two different colors. How it, how it works out. Here's a plus two. Here's a plus one. Here's a plus one. Plus one, here's a plus one, and here's a one plus. All right, now it says color the. Well, now it says color the remaining problems. Okay, so if th there may be some two pluses or plus twos that we've already colored. We're not going to color them twice. So just the remaining problems. It means we're just going to look at the ones that aren't already colored, and those are the ones we're going to look at, and and color green if they have twos in them. So I'm gonna, let me get a green in here. So I'm looking for plus twos. There's one, five plus two. So that's a green one. And here's an eight plus two. That's a green one. And six plus two, that's green. And three plus two, that's green. That's a plus two. And two plus two, all right, that's a two plus and I can color the green twice. I'm just going to color it once. And then here's a plus two. And now we're looking at the threes, right? The threes are going to be yellow. So if it's plus three, that one's yellow. Here's a plus three. Here's a plus three. Here's a plus three. And I look at, oh man, I forgot one. Oh, there's another one. Here's a plus three. I almost missed that one. And there's a plus two. I have to go back. I missed it. I have to go back and fix that one. This one here, R, is also a plus two. And I missed it in the beginning, but now I see it. So I can go back and fix it. 